Hi folks, it's Jody with Strength and Wisdom Tarot, here to do February readings for all zodiac signs. Like I always say, that these are general readings, so if they resonate with you, that's awesome. If they don't, maybe next time. Thank you for everyone who has liked, subscribed, shared to my channel. You guys rock! And if anyone would like a personal reading with me, all the info will be in the box below. Um, I do have a special going on for the month of February for uh, love and relationship uh, readings, so check it out. And um, still have the uh, tarot card classes. They are $20 a piece. There are five videos plus a bonus video. Plus, I coach through them too. So if you ever get stuck, just give me a shout. I'm there to help. Uh, also, my mystery healing boxes. They're small, medium, and large. They make great gifts. Um, they're going to be available too, as well as the travel size box now. They're awesome. So again, give me a shout. This reading is going to be for Virgo. Let's see what's shaking with you in February 2019. Ooh, Virgo. Things are going to change quicker than you think. So let's get into this at the bottom of the deck. Oh, man. Virgs, you get the tower. Now here's something that comes out of left field. Comes right out of the blue. Hmm. This could be an argument that really gets out of hand. Or something just comes in and blows your mind. Wow. Vergs, let's get into this one. We're going to start off with Major Arcana, the Hanged Man. Now, this is feeling stuck. Feeling in limbo. You don't go forward, you don't go backwards. But the Hanged Man sees something in a different perspective. And what's helping or hindering... <laughs> Can't see this is a help. You have the Seven of Swords. A.K.A. the Thief card. This is the medieval cat tarot that I'm using. And this is the cat that ate the canary. The front of me. The, the one that lies right to your face. Steals from you. Your thoughts, your ideas, hopes, dreams. The one that ghosts you. The one that can't stand by the convictions. So, Satch, you might be seeing somebody in a different perspective real quick. And I'm talking seriously quick. Bang. It hits you that somebody's not who they say they are. And yes, that's going to come as a shock. In your foundation, Sag, you have... I just called you Sag. Vergs. Sorry. Maybe you're dealing with Sagittarius. You have the Eight of Pentacles. Now, this is somebody who's got their nose to the grindstone. Could be learning a new uh, trade, new skill. But it's somebody who could be working on themselves, too, to make themselves the best person they can be. Now, this person, you know, is really studying hard. They're really not paying attention to everything else around them because they're so focused on work. Sag, maybe, you know, in the work field, that you see somebody and it, 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 it hits you. It's shady. This could be in a friendship, partnership, love ship, any one of those ships too. Vergs that... Something's an eye-opener. Because I honestly believe that you did not see this. But you're gonna. What's crowning your whole reading here, Vergs, is that you get the Queen of Wands. Now, she comes from the suit of Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or somebody who is pretty fiery. They're creative. They're motivated. They go gets it done. They're passionate. 
And this might be the property that you take on. You know, you might want to take a course of action and not just hang on the sidelines and let something take place here. You might be propelled to act on something. Hmm. Now, Vergs, remember, this could be the energy coming towards you or what you're projecting out there or what's around you. Because with the hanged man here, you might be like the outside looking in and looking at something going, wow, that's not right. But you don't want to get involved. You just want to, you know, keep to yourself. But you notice something that you never noticed before. Hmm. Because in your recent past, now you get the king of wands. Now here's the counter suit or the counter partner. They rule around together. They're both passionate and creative and motivated. This could be a past, you know, relationship or friend or somebody who, you know, you guys like two peas in a pod. Doesn't have to be in a relationship. It could be a friendship. But this is in the past. Maybe it is your energy that you had before in the past. And you need to bring that energy back in again. You're going to need to get fired up. You're going to need, you know, your passion or motivated or to act on something here, Vergs. Because going into your future, you got death. Now, when the universe sends death in, something needs to change. Something needs to transform. Something dies off. It comes to an end and it needs to come to an end. So bring new opportunities can come in. Now, Vergs, this could be an old way of doing things, an old way of thinking, an old way of seeing things. But something needs to transform here. And I think it's a gateway that you see something and you know it's not right, Sag. I just called you Sag again. Vergs, sorry. I'm just looking at these two cards. Seems seems that somebody out there is dealing with the Sag. Or did, or a friendship. Might be right. But going in the future, this changes. Vergs. This changes. Something could, you know, bring you to a halt. A screaming halt. Because that's the impact of the tower. And again, you never see it coming. Now, in some cases, you know, maybe you see something in a different perspective and it's you that wants to get away with something. But that's only for a few. I think this is the energy that you dealt with before. And you're going to have to bring that again because something's changing right before your eyes, Virgo. And how people see you in your environment, they see you as another major arcana, they see it as judgment. Now this is hearing the call, rising up from the ashes. A reconciliation, perhaps. A second go at something. And somebody's looking at you like this. It's your judgment call. Maybe somebody uh, put the ball in your court. And you got to figure out what you got to do with this, Fergs. Because whatever decision you make, whatever course of action that you move on and think it through, Fergs, the best, you know, possible scenario to change this, because it's going to change. Make sure it goes in, you know, your favor here. Because it is your call. And if this is, you know, a second go with maybe somebody from your past. In a friendship, partnership, love ship. That maybe you come across them and they've changed. Frogs, make sure.
They didn't change into the Seven of Swords. And it very well could be that you see this person again and you don't look at them the same way. Not like you did before. The feelings have changed. Now this, you could be being judgmental. Just check yourself on that there, Virgs. But yes, I think it's your ultimate decision, yours and yours alone, Virgies, what you're going to do with this. In your environment, you have another major, get the moon. Could be dealing with the Pisces or Cancer or Scorpio. I always think Pisces. But the moon likes to hide things. Lies, secrets, deception. It could be fear. It could be your intuition, Virgo, that's kicking up. Because, you know, every character in these cards are cats. And you know it's a cat. But do you really know it's a cat? There could be something here that you're not seeing clearly. Or something wants to be hidden. No. <laughs> And I think you feel it, Virgo. I think when it, you know, it hits you, you don't look at somebody the same. And you know, you know there's something major different and not for the good. You know, why'd this person come back around? What are their intentions? They say they changed. But in your hopes and in your fears, Verms, you have the Queen of Swords. Now, she comes from the realm of Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or somebody who takes on these properties. She don't play around. She means what she says. She says what she means. She wants the truth. She expects the truth and nothing less. The emotions are in the backseat. So check them in at the door. She's been there. She's done that. She's loved. She's lost. She's lived to tell about it. She's smarter from it. Extremely intelligent. Do not come at her with BS because that's just going to infuriate her. It's an insult on her intelligence. No king, queen, don't matter. It's an energy. Virgs, I think it's the energy that you're going to have. You're not playing games. You want the straight, honest truth. And if something changed and you're not aware of it, let's hope this other person or you We'll be honest about it. Because it could have you fired up. It could have you like up in arms. It could be passionate. But there's a reason. And you're going to find that reason here, Virgo. Now, whether this is in a friendship, partnership, love ship, any one of those ships, nobody likes to be played. So make sure, Virgo, that you find out. I mean, when this comes in, poof, somebody might just appear. Ugh, can't help but look. And want to offer you a brand new cup of love. Or make a old love new again. Make sure that they're on the up and up. They mean what they say. That there's no deviant intention. Find out. You know, if you haven't seen this person for a while, what have they been up to? What's your situation? Why are you back here? Because your outcome card here is the three of pentacles. And this is being noticed for your fine skills, qualities, and crafts. Birds is getting recognized for the great person that you are. It's getting recognition. It's getting accolades. So, Virgs, no matter how you go forward, and you've done well for yourself, find out the reasons why. If somebody just comes out of the woodwork... Is that schmoozing up to you? Know that there's some intention there and find out what the intention is. Because you don't want anyone to take anything away from you that you're not willing to give. 
So that is what I have for you. Please keep on liking, subscribing, sharing to my channel, and I'll see everybody back here real soon. Take care.